Hello, this is Sharif Abuzil, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an affiliate marketing funnel inside WordPress using free tools. So this is what shall happen. When people land in this page, maybe are driving traffic from Google ads, Facebook ads, or any source of traffic, they will need or they will have to add their name and also their email address and click this button. And once they do this, you will, they will be redirected to a thank you page where you just can find them and tell them that the checklist or your free guide or free magnet is on the way and here you can add a video for yourself just to promote your affiliate offer and you can add a link for your affiliate offer in this button and of course in the back end or at the back end of the funnel itself they will receive an automated email with a link a link to the checklist and also you can set up a series of emails maybe to promote another offers or again to or maybe to build the trust with your email subscribers all of this will be done using free plugins and tools inside WordPress. So without any further delays, let me show you how you can set up this inside WordPress. Okay, the first step that we need to make is to install a plugin called Cadence Blocks to design our landing page. To do this, we simply go to plugins and click add new. And in the search plugins bar, we search for Cadence Blocks. And this is the plugin that we're looking for. Simply, you can just click install now and then click activate to make this plugin work. Now the plugin, as you can see, has been activated inside my WordPress website. So the next step is to create our landing page. So we go to play pages and click add new. And let's call this landing page and let's click publish. Now we need to add the content inside this landing page. To add the content, you need to click the plus button. And here you will find all the widgets or the blocks that has been added or have been added by the Cadence Blocks plugin. So we can have like an accordion block, advanced text, buttons, Countdown timer, Google Maps, info boxes, posters, table of content. There are multiple items or blocks that you can use once you activate and install the Cadence Blocks plugin. So let's start by creating or adding our rolly out. So just drag and add it here. And let's choose the one column rolly out. Let's start by styling this background by adding a background image. So to add a background image, we go to the style tab and here we can choose to add a background color or an image. So I'll just select an image and I will choose this one and then click select. Now we have a background image. So um, to make this stretch across all the page itself, we need to go to advanced tab of the rollout and under structure, we need for the minimum height, we need to choose like the vertical height and make this 100%. Now the um, background image is stretched across all the screen size. So now we can add our text right now to add. But before this, let's, you know what? Let's add a background image or a background color. Sorry for the uh, section of the page itself, because once we, if you click here, you'll find this is the structure or the skeleton of the page. We have a rolly out inside the row. We have a section and inside the section will be adding or our text, um, maybe an image again and inside the section and also we can add or we'll be adding our opt-in for. So let's make that the background color of the section and every you know the rollout has its own controls or options and the section has its own controls or options. So let's add a background for the section by going to the style again. And here let's choose a white background. So now we our section has a white background. To make this section just in the middle of the page itself, we need to go to the rolly out. And here in this uh, option, we choose to align to the middle. And let's click here. So now everything that we add inside the section itself will be or will appear just in the middle of the page. We need to decrease the size of the section so our opt-in page looks like um, squeeze page or something like this. So we can have like the focus of the visitors inside the middle or in the middle of the page. Yes. To make this section like decreased in the width, so we need again to go back to our rolly out and here under the layout, we can just add here for the maximum content, maximum width, 750 pixels to make this like center aligned. And now we can start by adding our text. So to add a title for this page, you simply click the uh, add block and you choose the advanced text tab of the cadence box. And here we can just start by writing something. Let me add a title here. This is the title we, to add another text. You simply, uh, oh, before we add this, let's just center align this. To add another text, you can just click this three, three um, dots. You can just duplicate this 
and some add some other text and to add the third text we just click again duplicate and let's add the third text here and now we have three blocks of text as you can see this doesn't look nicer so we need to decrease the size of each text let's start by this one let's make this like hidden one no let's make this like paragraph now we have the size smaller and let's make this one like h1 and again let's make this one a heading or a paragraph to make it like smaller now if we want to if we want to like move this uh, main title to be at the top somehow we need to go to the make sure that you are choosing the advanced text block of this title and under advanced here we can just add some um, negative margin by going to this and here let's make this negative 25 to make it to go just up a little bit now to add like we need to make this this doesn't breathe very, very well we need to add some padding around all the section itself so again make sure that you are choosing the section and under advanced for the padding let's make this linked and let's make this like this like add like um, 24 pixels and let's click update now we are almost close to the page that we have seen before now we need to add our opt-in form to add the form you simply click this three dots and click insert after and click this add block and search for and you can search for of course you can just drag it from here but this is another way where you can add the blocks themselves so let's choose form and here we have the form by default adds a name email and a message and of course the submit button if you want to remove any of these items you just click here and click the field itself and click the x icon to remove it if you like to have just the name or, or just the email you can just you know um delete it from here if you like to add the name again you can just click add field and you choose the field to be something like text or yes text and you can change this to be something like name and if you like to make it like above you just move it from here let's add some text to the button itself and let's make this center aligned here let's click update and let's view the page now let's view the page and this is the page as you can see maybe we need actually we need or we have to remove the header and the footer of the page and maybe add some overlay for the background image to make sure that the text itself stands out so to remove the head let's start by removing the header and footer this can be done by using your cadence your um, theme settings for this video i'm using the cadence theme which is another free theme that you can install for free and it makes it easy to remove the header and footer the same applies when you are using the astra theme the general plus press uh, the uh, the block c or any other popular theme so to remove the header and footer i just go to the page settings here and here under the disable header i just check the disable header the header the disable footer and click update now to add a background or an overlay background for the uh, background image make sure that you are again selecting the roll out you can by the way you can select the roll out, roll out from here or just at the bottom you'll find a breadcrumb here so make sure that you're choosing so if we're here we just click the roll out now we are inside the settings of the roll out let's go to style again and here we can choose the overlay the background overlay settings we can choose any color let's choose the black one and let's increase the opacity of course you can change or make some styling to the text itself maybe you need you need to make something like red or stand out according to the color of your uh, brand for example if we need to make this like a red or a colored part we just select it and here we just click highlight and under the advanced text you'll find the highlight settings here you can change the uh, highlight you can change it to make it like um, red to whatever you want but i like to keep this like for my brand color like this and let's choose the any traveler again let's make it like highlight and let's click update and let's refresh the page and here our landing page looks much better right now now we need to connect this to our mailer light which is the email marketing platform that I'm using for this video it gives you a very generous plan for up to 1000 subscribers for free and you can start you can create an account for free so just go to mailerlight.com and you can just create an account and maybe like give them the URL for your website and then they will make some review for like under one business day and they, if you have a valid website they will give you approval to use their services so here we need to to start by adding our tags 
You can start adding tags inside MillerLite by going to the subscribers tab. And inside uh, MillerLite, they call tags as groups. So we need to go to groups. To create a new tag, you just click create a group and you add like, let's make this whatever, like subscribers and you click create. Now we have our subscriber tag or, or group added or created inside MillerLite. Now, when someone signs up for this lead magnet, they need to have like an automated message with a link for this lead magnet, you can automate this by going to automations inside MailerLite. And here you can set up your first automation. So let's click new automation and let's choose one from scratch. And let's call this travel back or travel checklist. Let's click start building. And now we need to start by using a trigger. So what should happen inside MailerLite for this automation to start? We can just click select here and we choose when a subscriber joins a group and let's click our subscribers list. And so when someone subscribes to this group, this will trigger or will initiate this automation. Let's click save. And now what do you want to happen? If you want to choose something to happen, you click the plus button. You can choose here to mail someone, to delay or take an action. So for the, I think this is the, uh, for this scenario, you can choose the email and here you can just add a subject for this. Let's make this in subject you like. Um, to make to add your name and email address and also you can start designing the email let's start by designing the email oh you need to first add our name so let me add a name and a subject then we need can start designing our email i will just choose a rich text editor to make this simple and we can add our text here so thank you or um yes you will just say this hi this is a text if i like to add a link to the um free checklist itself i can just you know Choose a text that I need to add a link to. Let's choose it here. Let's choose this word and I just click add link and insert a link and I'll add a link here. So now we have our automation ready. So let's go back to the subscribers. Let's go back to the automation. We'll find our automation now is ready to be used. So now we have our tags. We have our automation. Let's try to connect this with our Optum form. So when we go back to the Optum form itself, once you are inside the landing page, make sure that you are choosing the form. Again, you can just make sure you're choosing it from here. And here we need to go to the actions. So let's close this. We'll find actions after submit. What actions do you like to make? Let's choose the redirect to redirect these people to our thank you page. And also I like to add the users to our MailerLite account. So let's check this. As you can see, this is for free. And also you can choose Fluency RM, which is another amazing plugin for email marketing. Let's choose MailerLite now. And now let's close this. And we go down, we find we need to add our MailerLite settings here. MailerLite needs us to add an API key. You can simply make this or take this by going again to your MailerLite account under integrations. You can, you'll find here an API section. You just click use. And let's click generate a new token. And let's give this a name. And let's check this and let's click, click create token and let's copy it and let's go to the landing page and let's let's paste it here and click save. Now our MailerLite API key is valid now and have been saved. So let's ch choose a group. So when someone completes this opt-in form, I like them to be added to the subscribers list or group. And let's map for the name field. Let's choose the um, name here. Let's choose the name here and for the email. Let's choose the name here and let's click update. So now when someone signs up to this, they will be added to my subscribers group and an email will be sent out to them with a delivery for their um, free checklist. Now we need to connect this form to our thank you page. And let me show you how we can design the thank you page so you can add your affiliate offer inside this page. And this is the thank you page. And instead of starting everything from scratch, we can just simply copy the rolly out with all the settings and we can just make some tweaks here. So let's go back to the, the page itself and make sure that we are choosing the rolly out. And let's just click here and copy the block. And let's here and just copy, click V. And this is our um, uh, uh, row just added inside this page. So let's Start, I think we need to change this. So let's just remove this part and let's change this text to be something like, thank you. So it now says like, thank you, the checklist is on the way. Then we need to change this text to be something like, watch this video and let's make it like larger by choosing the X large here. 
and let's remove the form itself so we'll just click here and let's remove the form now we need to add a video inside this to add a video it is very simple task you again click the three dots and you choose insert after and here you click this and you look for youtube and you click youtube here and let's add a link for this now we have our video if you like to make this like larger like you can reverse what we have done before inside our landing page make sure you are choosing the rollout and here let's increase this width to be something like this to give it like something larger and for the section itself under the section let's make this the padding let's make it like larger to me give this some pleasing and let's click publish and let's view the page and this is the page of course we need to remove the header and the footer of the page and also we need to add a button where we can add a link to our affiliate offer so let's start by removing the header and footer we go by going to the page settings and let's disable the page title and here let's disable the header and footer and let's click update to add a button below the video itself you make sure that you are choosing the video and let's click insert after and here we can look for buttons and choose the advanced buttons block by cadence blocks let's add a text here and this is the text of course we can make this like button size larger we can make it like in full if you like to make this something like this and if you are choosing the text the button itself under style you can also control the typography settings maybe you need to choose to make the font size x large to make this something like this this looks nice also we can change the uh, letter case to make it like this or whatever you want yes let, let's make this like this okay let's click update and let's view the page and let's click refresh now our landing page is ready of course you can just make anything like smoother than this and by the way if you are not adding your youtube video inside youtube uh, if you are not adding your video inside youtube you can just take a link from vimeo or bunny.net or anything else if you like to add it here you maybe you need to choose instead of youtube you need to choose what's called the let's click here the let's click insert after it's called the custom html and you'll just add your input code here but for this video i'm using just youtube so let's click update and let's go to the now we need to connect this um, opt-in page with the thank you page so let's first click refresh so we can um this page can feel the thank you page and let's open the form again under the uh, actions after submit we have already chosen to be redirected and MillerLite we have connected this to our MillerLite account now we need to add the redirect rule so here again you find the redirect settings make sure that you look for the thank you page the thank you page and let's choose this thank you page and let's click update and let's view the page in incognito mode and let's try this out so let's add my name here for example and let's add this email and let's click yes i want this packing list and here we are in the thank you page and now when someone lands here they can just drag click here and there start watching the video itself so this is how as you can see this is very easy to set up inside wordpress and we can connect our wordpress landing page or opt-in page or affiliate marketing page to our MailerLite account and the thank you page you can give people our affiliate offer if we have one of course make sure that uh, I forgot to tell you this if inside the thank you page in the um, button itself here you can add a link to your affiliate page for the product that you are promoting inside your affiliate or with your affiliate business so this is how easy you can create a landing page inside WordPress connect it with your MailerLite and add an automation inside MailerLite and then redirect people to a thank you page where you can add your affiliate offer if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to the channel because this video is part of my 100 days video challenge to create a video for youtube every single day for 100 days so your subscription will be much appreciated thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now